Hello, welcome back. My name is Altai, and this is Sasha, and this is Mark. Today, we'll be focusing on the handstand, which is the most fundamental skill in gymnastics. First, we will have the boys demonstrate what a true, proper handstand looks like, and then we will go into doing some basic training so that you can learn how to eventually do your own handstand. So, please, Sasha, if you could stand on one side, Mark, on the other side, please. Arms up, Sasha, and keep the handstand, please, and show us a proper handstand. And hold. One, two, three, four, and five. Step down, arms up. Very nice. Mark start, arms up, and keep the handstand. Push up tall. One, two, three, four, and five. Step down. As you saw in both demonstrations, the boys had a completely vertical line in their body shape. So first, the most important thing for completing a handstand is the body position. We want to make sure that the body is always completely straight, no arch, no hollow. <clears throat> so first, uh, we're going to demonstrate with Sasha over here uh, what uh, straight body arms up is, okay? So Sasha, show me arms up, please. And hands closer. See how his shoulders are covering his ears? His body is completely straight from his feet all the way to his uh, fingers. Now the second position that we're going to do and that Mark is going to demonstrate is called prone support. And we like to do this on the floor. So Mark, if you could please lie down on your stomach. And we have this mat here because we want to demonstrate what prone support is and it's also like doing a handstand. So Mark, put your hands, rest them up against this mat. Let's get your heels together. We want no holes. And now, this is exactly the position that you should be in when you're doing the handstand. As you can see, his head is not completely down, it's not completely up, but his ears are covered by his shoulders, and that gives a tight position in the arms to be as like stability on the ground. As you can see, the back is completely straight, legs straight, feet together, and that also enhances the balance of the person doing the handstand. Now, when we are ready to demonstrate a handstand to a beginner, we want to do it against the wall. We want to use the wall because um, it is very important that the person learning the handstand keep a hollow position. So we're going to move over here to the wall and Mark is going to demonstrate for us. Mark, if you place your hands just about here and walk your feet up the mat, if you're helping your individual, child or whomever, at your own home, you can help them walk their feet up. We want to keep the hands a bit farther from the mat. We call this a rainbow position because it has the shape of a rainbow. As you can see, we demonstrated in the positions that we just did that his shoulders are exactly covering his ears. His chin is not down, it's not up. His head is exactly straight and he's looking at his hands. This allows him to balance himself. And for beginners, we can do at least 10 seconds and three sets of 10 seconds. So Mark, you've been holding for about 10 seconds now. Come down, thank you so much. Another useful exercise for practicing the rainbow position and the chest in is if you have a partner, it's basically the same thing. However, if you can't use it against the wall, you can use a partner and arms up, boys. And we wanna grab each other's hands, right? And feet a little bit farther apart from each other. And this way, as you can see right now, their shoulders are covering their ears. They're pushing up against each other, pressure on both hands. And they're actually doing the chest in hollow body position that we want when we're practicing our handstands. Okay, excellent boys. So now I want you guys to push your arms out to the side, maintain the pressure on each other and back to the middle. Again, shoulders covering your ears one more time to the side, hands together. Always back to the same position, very nice. And one more, to the side, and up. Now, we have another useful exercise that is excellent for beginners that can also teach them to um, keep, again, this shape line in the shoulders. And it will also develop the strength in the arms as well as in the shoulders, which is very important for conducting a proper handstand. So Sasha is going to demonstrate now. If you have any kind of surface that is raised from the ground, uh, then that is preferable. So here we have our mat, and Sasha is going to put his hands flat 
on the mat and he's gonna be in a tuck position, right? He's on his toes, you can see, his knees are together. Sasha, again, let's have our head not down, not up, but completely straight, that means shoulders are tight, covering the ears, okay? Again, this is what we wanna do when we're doing our headstand. And you're gonna do a small jump, Sasha, and lift your waist. Up, oh, good. So now, as training, we're gonna do five, okay? So Sasha, when I count, I want you to jump up. One, two, three, four, and five. Excellent, and now stand up. Now the next step is doing the same exercise, however, trying to get the hips a bit higher, okay? And we will demonstrate why this is important, because we want to always maintain the back straight, because this teaches how to do a proper handstand. Yeah. So, um, Mark, let's have you jump up. And he still keeps the tuck position, but as you can see now, the back is completely straight. This is like a half handstand already. And the reason why we keep the legs tucked is because this teaches to keep the chest in, right? Because again, we don't want to march. So, now, as training, we will do five again. Up, one, down. Up, two, excellent, down. Up, three, down. Up, four, down and up. Hold, one, two, and three, down. Very nice. So something that I would also like to emphasize while we continue in this beginner's class for learning handstands is that these exercises need to be repeated over and over and over again so that you understand finally how the body position is supposed to be. And not only that, but in order to develop strength in these areas right here in the shoulder. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the next exercise which is very similar to the last one that we just did. However, now this time when we jump up, we're gonna straddle our feet. And when you straddle the feet, it still maintains this chest in and round back position, which is essential for doing the handstand. Okay, so Sasha, go into your tuck position. Okay, jump into your straddle, Sasha. Jump. Beautiful. And down. So as training, we will do five now. Okay, let's go. Up. One. Down. Up. Two. Down. Up. Three. Down. Excellent. Up, four, down and up, hold, one, two, and three, down. So, now we're going to have Mark demonstrate. Mark is going to go into the same position that we've been doing. So that means, hands on the mat, again, tuck position, and we're going to jump up into a straddle, but this time, we're gonna, after the straddle position, we're going to slowly bring the feet together and go up into a handstand position. So, I will again assume my position here so that I can help Mark. And Mark, jump and strap. Hold. And bring your feet up. Excellent jump. And here we want to hold as well. And then when we're coming down, straddle again slowly and go back down the squat. Now it's training. Let's do five. Up. Hold. And feet together. One. Straddle slowly down. And good. Up. Two, you see that body line? Excellent. Down. Up. Hold. Feet together. And three. Very nice. Continue more. Up. Feet together. Four. And last time. Up. Straddle. Hold. Up, push up tall, and this is fine. Feet together, arms up, excellent. Now, after all these beginner skills, we want to demonstrate how we can kick up the handstand, which is the most popular way uh, to getting into this position. And uh, we have these boys that will demonstrate it for us. So Sasha, if you could do it first, um, arms up, and keep the handstand. As you can see again, what we reiterated so many times in the previous exercises, body is completely straight, feet together, aligned from the toes all the way down to the hands. 
And now Mark's turn. Mark, arms up. And kick the headstand. Beautiful. Again, body straight. Chest in. Ears covered by the shoulders. And this is a proper headstand. Head step down. Arms up. Very nice. Now we will demonstrate the proper lunge position in order to kicking up to handstand. So Mark is going to demonstrate first, Mark arms up, and kick your foot up, and lunge. Good, as you can see, his back leg is straight, his back foot is flat, it's almost a right angle with his chest and his knee, and this front foot is flat. And arms, of course, straight, shoulders covering the ears. Good, and back to feet together, arms up, and down. And now Sasha's turn. And kick to lunge. Beautiful. So now the next step is what we call the T or lever position. And as you will see, this is coming from the lunge position and almost right before the kick up to the handstand. So we're gonna have Mark demonstrate first. Mark, arms up please. And kick your foot up into the lunge. And then we wanna lift this back leg. You can keep this leg a little bit bent because later on we're gonna kick this leg, push from that leg in order to go up the handstand. We wanna hold and then come back down. Good, now Sasha's turn. Same thing, arms down, Mark. And kick your foot up. And go reach back leg. Make sure the shoulders are covering the ears and we're reaching really forwards and come back down. Okay, now as training, we will do five. Boys, always remember though, we wanna keep arms completely covering the ears, that way our shoulders are tight, okay? And that way we can balance once we're on the floor. So, Mark will go first. Arms up, and kick, and go to the lever position. One, down, back to position, and kick. Two, Back to the position. Good. Kick. Three. Very nice. Excellent shoulder position, Mark. Kick. Four. And one more. Kick. And five. Very Sasha, nice. arms up. And kick your foot up. Keep your shoulders closer, Sasha. One, and kick, two, and kick, three, excellent, two more, kick, four, and one more, kick, and five, excellent, Keep together. Now, the next step in order to get into the final handstand position is what we call kicking from T and keeping the arms up, which is again the most important thing. Arms up right here, shoulders covering the ears. So, we're going to have Sasha demonstrate now. Sasha, arms up. And Sasha's going to demonstrate what not to do, okay, in order to getting up to handstand. So, kick the lunge and go to T position. And as you can see, like I told him, I told him arms up and right now I'm going to tell him to drop your hands and try to kick up the handstand and he cannot possibly stay up in handstand position because now he has created a humongous angle with his head and his shoulder. So come down now. Stand back up. And now the reason why I say this is because when people are trying to learn their handstand, many times do they drop their arms. Okay, and so show me arms up. We always, always want to maintain the arms up relative to the body position. So now we're going to demonstrate the right way. So maintaining the arms up, cover your ears with your shoulders and kick the T position. Very nice. And now just reach, reach forwards, forwards, arms up always. Excellent job. As you can see now his shoulders are covered by his ears and his head is nice and tight. Okay, come back to standing up, and arms down. So, now continuing from where we left off, 
Mark is going to demonstrate how we always need to reach forwards. That means keeping our arms up and then kicking into a handstand. Now, when we're usually at this step, we have the boys um, reach over a certain object so that they don't drop their hands. And in this case, our object is our pet dog that we have here named Blake. Blake's going to be our object and Mark is not going to drop his hands because if not, then he would be hurting Blake. So, Mark, arms up and kick to your lunge position and reach. And keep your hands down. Good. And down. Keep your arms up. Excellent job. And let's do one more so they can see it one more time. Reach your hands and keep the hands down. Very nice. And down. Arms up. So now finally we will show how to do the best handstand the proper way. And Mark and Sasha have been helpful so much throughout this whole video. And now they're here to demonstrate the best way to do a handstand. So, Mark, please kick the handstand. And up. Good. Straight line, chest in, shoulders are covering the ears. And hold. And down. Very nice. Arms up. And down. Sasha's turn. Arms up. And keep the handstand. Point your toes. Legs straight, chest in. Excellent. Boys, these are very nice handstands. And hold. And down. All right. So now when it comes to helping someone do a proper handstand, you always want to stand on the side. Because if you stand on the other side of the individual, then there is always uh, the opportunity that the person will arch. And you're helping them do an improper handstand, basically. So we will demonstrate with Mark on the right position as the person who's the spotter and where you should be standing. Arms up, Mark, and keep the handstand. I'm gonna keep my hand here, that way he doesn't kick forward. And then I take it with my other hand and I meet them in the middle on top of his legs, and therefore I steady him. And he's in his hand to hand position. When I take my arms off, he's ready to hold. One, two, and three. Arms up, and down. And now we will practice by Sasha demonstrating to help Mark in his handstand, okay? So Mark, arms up. Sasha, keep your right hand out, that way he doesn't kick forward. And let's go, keep the handstand, Mark. And meet with your other hand. Very nice, steady him first, and then let him hold. Very nice, one, two, and three. Step down, arms up, and down, very nice. So now today, we taught you how to do a kick to handstand on the floor. However, there are many different other handstands that you can complete. And we're gonna demonstrate very quick so you can see. Mark is going to show us a side handstand. So Mark, arms up, kick, and turn your body, and hold. Very nice. Now, as you can see, he's facing this way. And hold by yourself. And then you can just step down the regular way that we taught. Good. Okay, so now uh, Sasha will demonstrate how to do a pirouette, which helps in order to keep in the balance when you're doing your handstand. And that way, your body understands when it should turn, which way. So arms up, and keep the handstand. Again, you want to spot the individual. And let's go, pirouette. One, two, three, four. Excellent. This is called a full pirouette. And so, and down. Very nice. And now, last one. This also involves a little bit of strength. Mark is going to show us. This is what we call a press handstand. So arms up to the side, Mark. Arms up and down. We want to place our hands down on the floor. And again, kind of like we showed in the previous exercise where we were jumping from a squat position, we want arms straight, shoulders always covering the ears. And we want to go up on our toes. Go up on our toes and press. Good. And slowly feet come together in the top into a handstand position. And then to come down, we just straddle and do the reverse. And come slowly down. Now Mark, show me one by yourself. And slowly go up. Excellent. Hold. 
And uh, as you can see, even when he's coming down, he keeps his back completely straight and his shoulders covering his ears. But arms, okay? Arms up. And hands down. And go. Press up slowly. Feet meet in the middle. And hold. One, two, and three. Good. So that concludes our lesson on how to do a proper handstand. We taught you the most important positions, especially in the arms and the head, for doing the right handstand. And we taught you a few positions on how to actually kick up to a handstand. And finally, uh, Sasha and Mark over here successfully showed us how to hold a handstand in the proper way. So we hope that next time you will join us because we have a very special occasion. We're going to be teaching circles on the mushroom. And today we're going to leave you with a little bit of preview. These professionals next to me are going to show us how to do the right circles on the mushroom. So first we're going to start with Sasha. He's going to show us 10 circles. All right, Sasha, take it away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, excellent job. And now Mark's turn. Same thing, Mark, go ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. Now, after circles come flares. And flares are very exciting to watch just because the feet are nice and straddled and it goes in a nice, slow loop. And if you do it the right way, uh, then it can be very beautiful. So now Sasha is going to demonstrate circles for us. Go ahead and do five flips. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. And now, Mark Stern. Go ahead, Mark. Take it away. Two, three, four, and five. Excellent job. Again, we want to thank you. My name is Altai. This is Sasha and this is Mark. We want to thank you so much from Jim on and we hope that you can join us the next time.